Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Jango World. So in today's video, we are gonna configure token authentication, create tokens manually in the database and we will check whether the tokens are working or not. So let's jump into computer screen and get started. So here I am on my computer screen. So first, I'll just open the browser and I'll go on Django rest framework.org and from here API guide I'll click on permissions not permissions authentication and from authentication I'll just gonna go to token authentication now here are the configuration steps so first let's copy this one okay go to vs code i'll just zoom a bit and i'll close all the files i'll go to settings.py and up here in the installed app i'll just paste that okay make sure it is in a single or double quotation okay once this is done let's go to the another step now here we will just copy this token authentication okay this one come back to vs code now here in settings.py only i'll just duplicate this one comment this and instead of this basic authentication i'll pass token authentication this is it now i will open the terminal I'll activate the virtual environment and here I will say python manage.py make migrations no changes detected ok we will say migrate enter ok so the token table has been created in our database now if i just simply run the server so i'll say python main.py run server and here i'll say slash admin i'll pass the admin credentials and now you can see tokens okay now since we have two users we need to create two tokens for two users so i'll click on add a new token select the user and save so the token has been generated i'll zoom a bit okay so the token has been generated for the admin now same way i'll go to tokens again and i'll click on yush and save so two different tokens are generated for two different users now I'll simply grab this token okay I'll copy it hide the terminal now if I go to rapid API client close this settings.py we don't need that now let me see which view allows only admin let me okay I have grabbed this admin token right yeah so is admin or read only permission so it's category so i'll just check for this category detail view okay or let's say category list view because category list view has same permission so i'll create new category using admin token okay just i am just demonstrating whether this uh, token is working perfectly or not okay so yeah here we are if i just send get request we are getting the response but if i try to send post request body json and uh, the category underscore name is going to be let's say mark down and okay so authorization credentials were not provided 
okay so if i go to headers here i will say authorization and in, in this value i'll pass token and uh, here i'll paste the token i'll just need to copy that again copy paste send you can see the markdown has been created now so now see to create the category we need admin role right now this yash user do not have admin role so let me try with this token whether we are able to create or not okay so i will remove this token paste that i'll go to body and here i will say um, instagram okay so i am creating instagram category now if i send post request you can see you do not have permission to perform this action so our token is working perfectly fine so i have not provided any type of the username or the password in the basic one okay i was i have just provided the token over here and it was this was it okay in headers not here but in header okay so i hope you got idea about uh, this one right i'll just remove this i'll go to headers i'll create authorization and here i'll say token and paste that token so whenever you send token you need to go to headers write authorization over here write token word okay and then leave one space and then paste the token it will work for you okay so i hope you got idea about uh, configuring tokens and how we can use it like the utilize the token so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next one thank you